Hi, and welcome to Cardpresso. In this video tutorial, we'll teach you how to connect to an Excel database. On a previous tutorial, we have created my Cardpresso business card. Now, we'll use that same card template and connect it to the Cardpresso employee database. How? Let's see. First, we click on the open button on the welcome screen. Now, double click on the card press of favorites button, then click on my cards and choose one of the template cards and then click OK. Now we are on the working screen with our template on the main view and it's time to start our connection. To do so, just click on the connect to the database button. Now we start card press to database connection wizard and here we can choose to what kind of database we want to connect to. Let's choose Direct Excel File Driver and click Next. OK, it's time to search for our database. We click on the Browse button and show Cardpresso where is our database. To finish, click on the Open button. Now we will make a fast and easy connection to our database using all Cardpresso default settings. All these settings will be explained on further tutorials. For now, we'll just click on the next button and we are connected. Fast and easy. Now, on the right of the screen, it's a settings configuration tab. Let's start by defining the text fields on the card as database fields. Choose the name text field on the card by clicking on it. As you can see, the settings tab has changed. Choose the source tab, which allows you to change the source settings on the field. Now, first, let's define the source on the top of the screen, here, and choose database. As you can see, all other settings have changed. And on the column table, let's choose first name, like this. Ok, the first name of the database is already there, but we need the last name there too. To do so, we have to use the concatenation option. Let's click on the concatenation button and on the concatenate database columns box, check it. Now let's choose on the column, last name, and then put a space on the prefix bar to separate both fields. OK, as you can see, first and last name are already there. Now we'll do the same to the other fields. Let's choose the position field by clicking on it and we do the same operation. Go to the source and change it to the database. And like in the first name, all settings have changed. We open the column and then choose position. And now we do the same to the mobile field. Click on it. Then go to the source and change it to the database. Once again, on the column, we choose mobile. OK. But now, as you can see, the emailed field disappeared. So we have to put it again on the car setup. And that will be easy using drag and drop. Put the field here. Adjust the position and now the settings of the field. The size is OK, but the font type isn't it. So, we just look for the right font. Fast. OK, is this one here. As you can see, the setup of the card is ready and connected to the database. For you to see, let's scroll a little through the database. Simple, isn't it? Like everything else in Cardpresso. The card setup is complete. Well, not quite. There is the photo issue. But that will keep it to the next tutorial. All you have to do now is save your work by pressing this button here. See you on the next tutorial. Thank you for choosing Cardpresso and goodbye.